Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. How you doing? Nice to meet you. I hope you're doing so very well. Today I am bringing you my mid-year whip parade. If you're new to my channel, I mostly make book content, but I discovered a cross stitch back in June or July 2022 and I've been obsessed since. So now I decided to introduce some cross stitch videos onto my YouTube. So Hi, hello, my name is Shannon. I am 25. I live in Aberdeen. I have a little cute shih tzu called Coco. I absolutely adore her to pieces. I am a spooky girl myself, so I like to stitch a lot of spooky fall, autumn kind of patterns. I also recently become obsessed with full coverage, so probably going to be a lot of that on my floss tubes. I originally made my first whip parade at the start of the year and wanted to continue updating throughout the year but life got in the way as it always does. Life is just pure chaos. The more you know, right? So yeah, I am very excited to bring you a mid-year whip parade because I feel like I can now start from this point forward making more update videos and bringing you along with me. So welcome, hi, I hope you're happy to be here. Let me know in the comments what you're stitching on and what you think of my project. So let's get right on into some of the projects I have to show you today. I have my handy dandy little catch-all planner here. So if you see me looking around, I am referencing this because I am terrible with remembering things. So the first project I have here is the Supernatural Sal by the Witchy Stitcher. Oh, actually, I'm going to put all of the information on screen so if you're interested in any of these whips you can pause and take note. I will also have a picture of the finished product on screen so you know what this pattern will eventually look like but none of them do at the moment so if you would like to know any of the information it will be left on screen for your convenience. So the first project I have here is the Supernatural Sal by the Witchy Stitcher. I am doing this on 18 count vintage country mocha. I started this on the 26th of June 2022. I've done 5,474 stitches, bringing me to a total of 29%. I also am going to add in a second camera angle here so that if you can't see this properly when I hold it up, you can see it in the second camera angle. I love this project but I made a mistake in this border here so I frogged it and fixed it then when I went to restitch I made another mistake in this corner here so I've had a lot of mistakes with this project it's been a learning process but I know that when I go back to this project I'm going to have to fix the border that I messed up so I think that's why I've been putting it off simply because I know that I'm going to have to frog before I stitch but it's looking so cute and pretty and I really enjoy this project. I also really enjoy just anything the witchy stitcher does. I have a few patterns that I have already bought and need to cut up and I also have my eye on a few other ones. They took out a Ouija board pattern and I don't mess with Ouija boards because I don't mess with what I don't know or understand. And I am a firm believer that there is something out there. So yeah, I will not practice a Ouija board, but I love the pattern. So I was thinking I could maybe buy it and alter it so that it's the same border, but maybe a quote in the middle instead of the a Ouija board because that just scares me. But that will be like a future project if I decide to do it. I will pop on screen what it looks like so you can see in its full glory how pretty it is. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that just yet, but I have my eye on it. The next project I have here is Mini Firefly by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm doing this on 18 count blue Ada and I started it on the 31st of July, 2022. I am currently 7,000 and 92 stitches of the way through bringing me to a total of 10 percent there's hanging threads on this one it's still an a snap i was working on this one um earlier today yesterday yesterday um it's looking so good i love this project i'm gonna 
I'm working the Royal Roads method. So you work a block and then move over. And this just works so well with my brain because I can see the picture come to life in quite clear blocks. It also means that I don't make as many counting errors, which apparently I thought I could count to 10. But when I'm cross stitching, I do not have that ability, apparently. So this is my first full coverage I started. Absolutely obsessed with it. Love it. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get the page finish on this before the end of the year. So that's a hopeful goal I will achieve. The next project I have here is No You Hang Up by digitizing everything on Etsy. I'm doing this on 16 count white ADA. I started this on the 17th of November. No, the 17th of October 2022. And I have 2,500 stitches. Now, I'm not doing this. I hope you can see this. I'm not doing this the way that I maybe should because I was a new stitcher and I wanted to make this pattern for my friend. We do this thing called All Hallows Eve gifts. So we gift each other spooky things before Halloween, normally spooky reads and <laughs> spooky themed things. So I failed. I did not finish this before. So they're probably going to get it this year instead. And I didn't leave enough room to put the letters, the writing in. So I'm probably just going to stitch Ghostface and hoop finish this. But I may try and chart something in here. I'm not 100% sure yet. We shall see. So this is a hopeful finish for October. So I can finally give this to my friend. The next project I have here is Until We Are Dust by Night Spirit Studio. I'm doing this on 16 count black ADA. I started this on the 17th of November and I don't have numbers for this one because it's a paper pattern. But this is what we have. I would say that I'm almost halfway through because I just have to finish this skeleton guy and then copy it and paste it over here. So I think I'm about halfway through. This is super cute. Again, this was actually a gift from my friend from the All Hallows Eve um, last year. So I ended up getting this pattern of fabric from them and I just absolutely adore it. It's so bloody cute. I can't wait to finish this one. And I don't even think it would take me that long, to be fair because there's not huge amounts of stitching so I should really just stitch it I mean said every stitcher ever just stitch it <laughs> but yeah I hope to finish that one soon the next pattern is move forward in love by modern folk embroidery I started this on the 4th of December I'm doing it on 18 count hand dyed ada by river hut designs I <laughs> fell in love with river hut designs fabric and now I'm just in obsessed. I just want to buy all their fabric. And this has 1,790 stitches, bringing it to a total of 29% finish. I'm also, this is going to look really different from the chart that I put up on screen because I decided that I wanted to do this in the bi flag colors to represent myself. And I realized that I could keep this pattern and just continue doing it in all the different queer flag colors. I could have the rainbow, I could have the non-binary one, and I can just keep stitching it in all these different colors representing different flags. And um, yeah, I just, I'm obsessed. And also I thought if I'm going to stitch it, I'm going to stitch it. The first one I would like to be representative of me. And then I can maybe do the rainbow one to be representative of everyone. I just love this pattern. I love the meaning behind it. I love how it looks. I also love this fabric that I chose for it. This is River Hut Designs fabric. You will see more of them coming. <laughs> I have some more already started with this designer's fabric, but I also have some in the plans. The next pattern is A Little Bit of Magic by Stitch Rovia on Etsy. I'm doing this on 18 count hand dyed fabric by River Hut Designs. And I started this 
the 27th of February 2023, I have stitched 1,160 stitch stitches, bringing me to a total of 13%. Look how cute this house is. Well, technically it's like a McMansion, but it's so adorable. It's so sweet. I should really stitch more on this. And again, this is more fabric from Riverhut Designs. They also serge their edges before you get it. And that's just amazing to me. I will, if you serge your fabric, I will be an easy returning customer because it means one less job for me, but it also means that um, I can start the project straight away without thinking about having to blanket stitch the edges. It's right now, needle. <laughs> The next project I have is Mordor by Silver X Stitches on Etsy. This is on 18 Count Ada. I started it on the 17th of May 2023 and I have 1,000 stitches. 1%. This is 1%, but it's all one colour. It's been easy to stitch. Like, I cannot wait to see this finished. I have two, I have two other posters in mind for this like Lord of the Rings wall like there's this one Mordor I think I have Lothlorien and I think I'm going to do one of the Hobbitation so that I can have three across the board on a wall and just make it a Lord of the Rings wall I believe Suki the brown eyed stitcher I believe she has a very similar idea on a Lord of the Rings wall. I think she's doing multiple different pieces by multiple designers and it's going to look so cool. Whereas I just imagine having the three same kind of poster art, but from different parts of the map. Um, but I cannot wait to see Suki's one come to life as well as my own. Also, I have no project bags, so I use... I subscribe to Illumicrate and Fade Loot. These are book boxes. So the book comes in this like dust jacket and I've just repurposed these for my whips. I will eventually get project bags, but until then I am quite happy with repurposing these. Um, reuse and recycle. So yeah, I'm going to reuse these until a time where I get project bags and then I will find something else to use them for because they come in really handy. The final project I have here is actually a restart. This is No by Stitch Rovia on Etsy. I'm doing this on 18 count uh, fabric by Riverhut Designs. I restarted this on the 15th of June 2023 and I am 2,845 stitches of the way through bringing me to 28% <laughs> and this is how she is looking. I had to restart this because I originally I originally started this on 32 count linen. I had never stitched on linen. I had never stitched on 32 count. And I quickly decided that this is a deadline piece. I want to gift this to my grandma for Christmas. She's a huge Christmas lover. So I wanted to add to her decorations. Um, and I was, there was no way I was gonna get it done on the 32 count. I kept making mistakes. I wasn't picking it up because I stressed when I picked it up. So I decided that instead of stressing myself out, I was going to restart this on 18 count fabric. And again, this fabric is just beautiful. So yeah, I'm hoping to get this one done by the start of December so I can gift it to my grandma. I also had one more whip in my start of the year whip parade. It was Stranger Things versus Nightmare on Elm Street. And I started this on 25 count. I was okay with it, but when I came back and tried to stitch on it again, I realized that I wasn't really enjoying it. The 25 count with one thread wasn't really doing it for me. I wanted my loop start. So I have actually decided to restart this project. I will leave a picture on screen of what it looks like and what I had done previously but I've 
ordered 18 count fabric and I'm going to restart it on 18 count which seems to be like my sweet spot so yeah I think I'm just going to restart that one I also have a few other things that I would like to start I have a few things kitted up things that are taking my interest but I feel like I want to get some of these whips further along in progress some of their goals met or even finished before I start anything else apart from my restart of Stranger versus Freddy because that is definitely going to be a restart but I think I'm not going to start any more new whips until I make either a goal like the a page finish on Firefly or finishing until we are dust or finishing my gift for my friend for Halloween or the finish for my grandma for Christmas like I feel like I want to get at least one goal squared away or one project finished before I start another one but I'm also super obsessed with loads of patterns that I've been seeing I've also got um fabric like whittled away waiting for me to get up my next start so it's really hard to not start all of the things but I am trying I am trying to be more conscious of what I'm starting and what goals I have to meet and if I start another project, if those goals are going to be left by the bin. So wish me luck and holding off on starting all of the praise. And that is it. I know this was a short and sweet whip parade. I don't have very many whips, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me know in the comments if you like any of my projects or what you're stitching on. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, just anything stitchy related or book related, I would love to hear it in the comments. Thank you so very much for watching. Remember to stay safe, happy and healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.